standing on the northern edge of one of the areas of woodland at Hyash Farm, looking north towards Norwich and some of the parched fields <laughs> that were formerly hay about a month ago, and uh, they've just all gone chocolate brown. Field of maize in the distance and some sugar beet, all with the leaves hanging on the ground and just roasted <laughs> like paper almost. They almost set a field of sugar beet on fire this year. And I'm just turning around onto some of the areas on the northern edge of this woodland. And there's still some flowers to be seen in full flower. This one's called Rose Bay Willow Herb. And we're looking at some of the plants that have willow in their name because of the willow-like seeds they produce. This one actually has leaves like a willow tree, long lance-shaped leaves. And I've got a little camera here in my hand and I'm just looking at them. A, a tall plant, about six or seven feet tall and this one's still in flower. And I'm just going to walk down a little bit further down this row of Rose Bay Willow Herb. It's got another name called Fireweed as well. And in the Second World War, particularly when there was a lot of bomb sites in London and some in Norwich as well, uh, all burnt out. And the bare black ground was absolutely ideal for this plant to set its willow-like seeds on. It's a pioneering species, we call it. And that just loves that kind of burnt ground, which is why it's nicknamed fireweed. <laughs> Nothing to do with the colour of the flowers, which are beautiful, deep, mauvey purple colour. And really quite exotic, almost orchid-like in their shape but we're going to walk along a little bit and actually see why it's called willow herb just walking along the row here some of the leaves are scorched to cinders and we're now coming up to some of them here oh wow they're what seven feet eight feet tall the victorians used to grow this plant at the sort of back of their gardens rather like we grow delphiniums and foxgloves today and this one in front of me i'm just going to pull it towards me a little bit, is absolutely festooned with willow-like flowers. Actually, quite beautiful. And if I give it a little shake like that, off go some of the plumes into the air. Just there's a northwesterly breeze this morning, and they're heading off in a southeasterly direction. Uh, so if the wind changes tomorrow, the wind seeds will blow the seeds off in a completely different direction. Just stunningly clever how these plants work. They almost look like feathers actually stuck in the top of the plant. This one's finished flowering. It had got some more flowers to produce, but because the season is so dry, it's just produced perhaps a hundred blooms or so, and there was another 50 to 60 to go at the top of the plant, and they've just frazzled. They're not going to come and open up, and that's pretty much the case all across the Norfolk countryside this year, uh, that many of our plants, including things that are quite deep-rooted, like slows on the blackthorn they're already uh, sort of ready to drop off the plant and some of the hawthorn berries as well are suffering a similar fate they're just drying up on the plant and they won't fully mature so that's obviously going to affect Norfolk's wildlife much later in the season so there we are this is rose bay willow herb also called fireweed just listen to the leaves crunching in my hand just all falling off here they are down at the bottom here, absolutely bone dry, tinder dry, and that's quite a drought resistant plant, really deep rooted. It's a perennial, so once it's established it will come back year after year, but it's really suffering this year. These tall stems, some eight feet, some nine feet tall, towering up above the bracken here, uh, making a beautiful backdrop, but they're really, really in crisis mode at the moment. So there we are. That's the story of the dry weather at Highest Farm. Better get back in the tractor. Don't know where my dog's rooted off to. The terrible terrier of rat. There he is. <laughs> he was sitting in the shade. The sun's well up now. It's nearly uh, sort of mid-morning. So need to go back to the farm, 
been on the go since five o'clock this morning. So a quick bit of toast and then back in the tractor. Come on, rat. Off we go.